Hi and welcome to Pebbles channel. So today we are going to talk about reproduction in plants through vegetative parts. Most of the plants grow from seeds but there are certain plants that grow from stem, leaves, branches etc. So talking about reproduction through stems. We have examples that is the rose, the sugarcane and the hibiscus are plants that grow from stems. If you take a cutting of the rose plant that is from the stem, if you take a cutting and you plant it elsewhere, it will start growing. The same goes with the sugarcane and the hibiscus. Onion, potato and ginger, these are all underground stems. So these are plants that grow underground from the stems. There are small buds on a potato and ginger. If you have a keen look at a potato or a ginger, you will find small buds which grow into new plants. Money plant and sugarcane grow into a new plant if a stem cutting is planted in the soil. So we are talking about reproduction through stems. So if you see the onion, the potato and ginger are underground stems. They grow under the ground and there are small buds on a potato and ginger which grow into a new plant. Money plant and sugarcane grow into a new plant if a stem cutting is planted in the soil. So this is about reproduction through stems. Moving on to the new next one is your growing plants from roots. So the first we seen growing plants from stems. The examples are your rose, hibiscus, sugarcane, then the potato, ginger and the onion which are underground stems and there are small buds that appear on the potato and ginger that later grow into a grows into a new plant. Moving on to the next we are seeing the growing plants from roots. Sweet potatoes grow into new plants from their roots. Buds appear on the roots of a sweet potato and these buds then grow into new plants. Carrot and turnip can also be grown from their roots. So examples of growing plants from roots. So we have, we see that the sweet potatoes, they grow into new plants from their roots. Same as the potato and ginger, even the sweet potato, you find buds appear on the roots of a sweet potato and these buds later grow into new plants. The carrot and turnip can also be grown from their roots. Next is growing plants from seeds. So first we seen growing plants from stem. Next is growing plants from roots and the third is growing plants from leaves. Leaves of bryophyllum and begonia also known as the elephant ear they grow buds along their edges. So if you have a look at the leaves you will see budges, uh, buds found on the edges of their leaves and these buds grow into new plants when they fall on the ground and find soil, water and warmth. So talking about growing plants from leaves, we have the leaves of the bryophyllum and the begonia which is also known as the elephant ear. They grow buds along their edges and these buds 
grow into new plants when they fall on the ground and they find soil, water and warmth. So we were talking about the reproduction through the vegetative parts. So most of the plants grow from seeds but there are certain plants that grow from the stem, leaves and the roots. So the first one we were talking about growing plants from the stem. Examples are your rose, sugarcane and hibiscus. The carrot, the potato, ginger and onion are underground stems and you find small buds on the potato and ginger which grow into new plants. The money plant and the sugarcane grow into a new plant if the, a stem cutting is planted in the soil. Moving on to the growing plants from roots, the sweet potatoes grow into new plants from their roots. Buds appear on the roots of a sweet potato and these buds later on grow into a new plant. The carrot and turnip can also be grown from their roots. Growing plants from leaves. So the leaves of the bryophyllum and the begonia, which is also known as the elephant ear, they have buds along their edges. And these buds, they, they grow into new plants when they fall to the ground and find soil, water and warmth. So first was growing plants from stems, that is the rose, hibiscus and sugarcane. Then growing plants from roots, that is your sweet potato. And growing plants from leaves, that is the leaves of the bryophyllum and the begonia. Moving on to growing plants from spores. So the, we find that some plants do not bear seeds and flowers. They reproduce through special structures which are called spores. Example are your mushrooms, ferns and some fungi that have spores underside of their leaves. These spores fall on the ground and grow into new plants. So we find that growing plants from spores, we find that some plants do not bear seeds and flowers. They reproduce through special structures which are called spores. Mushrooms, ferns and some fungi have spores underside of their leaves. So if you take the leaves you'll find under the leaf you'll find small spores that are present and these spores once they fall to the ground they start growing into new plants. So mushrooms, ferns and some fungi have spurs, spores underside of their leaves and these spores fall on the ground and grow into new plants. So this is about reproduction through vegetative parts that is growing plants from stem, growing plants from roots, growing plants from leaves and finally growing plants from spores. Moving on to the next topic, we are going to talk about agriculture. So we all know that agriculture is the backbone of our country. Many people survive only because of agriculture. But in recent times, it is becoming, it is, the times are changing. So talking about agriculture, what do we mean by agriculture? So the practice of growing plants on a large scale for food or other purposes is called agriculture. So this is the definition for agriculture. The practice of growing plants on a large scale for food or other purposes is called agriculture. The large amount of grains, so talking about the large amount of grains, fruits and vegetables grown by a farmer 
in a particular season in a particular place is called a crop so we know we grow crops and certain crops can be grown only in one particular season and one particular place so talking about agriculture we see that the practice of growing plants on a large scale for food or other purposes is called agriculture the large amount of grains fruits and vegetables grown by a farmer in a particular season in a particular place is called a crop so we have learned two new terms that is agriculture and crop 